Everyone in the world of golf knows that John Daly is a very interesting person. The pro golfer's unique style always gets a lot of attention. People are interested in both his personal life and his work life. Daly has had to make many changes in his life in order to deal with the problems caused by his condition. This includes the way he eats, drinks, and smokes. Let's dive right into it. Kicking us off, golf legend John Daly gets drunk during an appearance on live television. John Daly is the golf tour's wildest party animal. Daly is known for having a colorful personality, which makes him a fun person to watch on camera. This time, he admitted that he got drunk during the SEC Nation Game Day show, which made fans go crazy on social media. John Daly was a special guest on SEC Nation and talked with the show's hosts. He joined the hosts in some fun activities like a game of beer pong and some classic golf tee drives with color-exploding golf balls. When they finally sat down to talk, Daly made it clear that he was drunk. The response broke the internet, which caused a lot of people to tweet. Here are just a few of them. To make things clear, the two-time winner of the major was just reading hillbilly headlines. But John Daly being John Daly meant that it could very well be true, and that's how the host and the audience saw it. How do you spend your time on The Daly Show? Daly appeared on the TV show Marion McGee to show that the NCAA Division I football bowl subdivision has begun. Daly has been a fan of the Arkansas Razorbacks for as long as he can remember because he grew up in Arkansas and went to college there on a golf scholarship. We might never know for sure if Daly was drunk or not, but he did manage to keep the crowd laughing on the show. To top off a great weekend, the Razorbacks beat the Cincinnati Bearcats with a 31-24 score that was very impressive. The next team they play is the South Carolina Gamecocks, who beat the Georgia State Panthers 35-14 in their first game of the season. How drinking helped Daly. Daly says that drinking helped him feel more relaxed when he used to play golf. Since he has cancer, he has had to cut back on drinking and other ways to get drunk that can hurt his body, but he thought back to when he could drink and play golf. He said, wherever I set course records or did other things, I would be playing golf barefoot and drunk and make every 20-foot shot I looked at. Daly also talked about how getting drunk helped him play pool better. He said, I used to be really good at shooting pool when I was in a good mood, but if he got me sober and made me play pool, I wouldn't make a ball. Pro golfer went on and talked about pool. He talked about how he felt more confident after winning money from people playing pool. He also thought he would be good at golf when he was drunk. The legend has cancer as well. In order to get rid of the disease, Daly had to have surgery. He still has problems because of the disease, though. One cancer that is likely to come back is bladder cancer. Daly has fought hard against this cancerous growth. Many of us look up to him because of how positive he is. He said once, I always tell people I've had a great life. I'm not afraid of dying or anything else, no matter what. Daly's health has kept him from playing golf as much as he used to. He has been doing well with his situation and listening to his body when it tells him to wake up. In other golfing news, takeaways from the 2022 President's Cup. First, these guys like each other. Everyone needs to be loved the way JT loves Jordan. And the same goes for Jordan. There's no doubt that the international team faces problems that the American team doesn't. For example, they don't all speak the same language. They come from different cultures, and they don't know each other. Trevor Immelman, captain of the international team, wasn't too far off when he said that this U.S. team was the best ever put together. Five of the top 10 golfers in the official world golf ranking were on the 12-person U.S. team. They were all in the top 25. And when U.S. team captain Davis Love III pairs off Thomas and Spieth and Xander and Shoffley and Patrick Cantley every session, it's like having Max Scherzer and Justin Verlander in a five-game series. Spieth and Thomas have been friends since they were kids, and they won all four of their foursomes and four-ball games. Cantley and Shoffley are friends. They are both from California, and last year, they won the PGA Tour team event in New Orleans. In singles, the players went 3-1 and one as a group. On Friday, when it looked like the President's Cup was going to be another blowout, one of the most exciting things to see was how Spieth and Thomas fit off each other by fist bumping, chest bumping, and yelling at each other. This week, the 12 people who played for the U.S. seemed to really like each other. There wasn't an elephant in the room because Bryson DeChambeau was still mad at Brooks Kepka, or because Reed was upset that he had played with Tiger Woods instead of Jordan Spieth. Next, Tom Kim is a superstar. The South Korean star's name is Ju Young Kim, but he likes to be called Tom, which is what his friends called him when he was young because it's like Thomas the Tank Engine. The 20-year-old has as much steam as his namesake right now. After winning his first PGA Tour event at the Wyndham Championship a month ago, Kim's professional debut in a team event was like a coming out party. He was the youngest player on both teams, and only Ryo Ishikawa and Jordan Spieth were younger when they played in the President's Cup. This week, Kim lost two of his three matches, but his enthusiastic celebrations made him the heart of the international team and a crowd favorite at Quail Hollow Club. On Sunday, Kim showed up at the first tee wearing sunglasses and telling the crowd to cheer. He was a famous musician. Kim and his partners gave the international team some hope on Saturday, even though they had lost their first two matches. Kim and K.H. Lee of 
South Korea beat world number one Scotty Scheffler and Sam Burns in the foursomes on Saturday morning. In a four-ball match that afternoon, Kim and Siwoo Kim beat Patrick Cantley and Xander Shoffley, who seemed unbeatable. Kim beat Cantley and Shoffley by making an eagle on the par 4 11th hole and then making a 10-foot birdie putt on the 18th. Third, Homa isn't bad either. It's hard to believe that Homa didn't have much faith in his game not too long ago. He was, and still is, one of the funniest professional golfers on Twitter, but he didn't have much to show for his work. At the end of the 2020 FedEx Cup season, he was ranked 70th, but Homa has won four times on tour since February 2021. He won the Genesis Invitational in 2021, the Fortinet Championship and the Wells Fargo Championship last season, and then he defended his Fortinet Championship title in Napa, California last week. He didn't get to Charlotte until early Monday morning for his first President's Cup. Homa, who is 31 years old, gave the President's Cup a moment to remember on Friday. After 16 holes, Taylor Pendrith and Corey Connors of Canada tied their match with Billy Horschel. On the 17th hole, Homa made a birdie putt from 12 feet away to go one up. Then, after Pendrith made a crucial 15-foot putt for a birdie on the 18th hole, Homa made another 12-foot putt to win the match. He is only the fourth player to make his first President's Cup start and go 4-0-0 or better. The international team is getting closer. Even though the international team has lost nine times in a row and 12 times in 14 President's Cups, Captain Trevor Immelman thinks his team is getting closer to winning. This week, the international team was a huge underdog, especially after Smith, the number three in the world, Mark Leishman, Abraham Onser, Louis Oosthuizen, and Joaquin Nyman all left for Live Golf. Thomas, Spieth, Burns, and Scheffler have been friends for a long time, and many of the U.S. players live close to each other in Florida and Texas. However, the players on the international team live all over the world, which makes their team different. Immelman says that his team has come a long way in dealing with the problems it faces. He says that Ernie L started the change before the last President's Cup, which was held in Australia in 2019. Els came up with the shield that is on the players' uniforms, golf bags, and hats. This week, they sold things with the shield on them at Quail Hollow. Others have said that the President's Cup needs big changes, like adding women golfers or letting live golf players play, but Immelman thinks that his team will keep getting better. The head of the PGA Tour, Jay Monahan, also thinks the international team is going in the right direction. Well, that's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time, cheers!